Every soul will have a taste of death. وَنَبْلُوكُمْ بِالشَّرِّ وَالْخَيْرِ فِتْنَةً And we touch you with hardships, and we touch you with good. وَإِلَيْنَا تُرْجَعُونَ And to us is your return. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear that every soul is going to taste death. So it's your opportunity now, my dear brother in Islam, to prepare, prepare for that day that you're going to meet the one who created you from nothing, the one that gave you eyesight, the one that gave you the capability to hear, the one that gave you capability to think, to taste, to walk, to smell. Na'anya ilad Allah, kullu nafsin. Every soul is going to taste death. Wa nabulukum bi sharri wal khayri fitna. We test you in the life of this world with hardships, trials and tribulations, and we test you with good fortune and with comfort and luxuries. All of it is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you have to be patient. The one hardships and trials and tribulations, and this is the day is going to benefit you. The day that you meet Allah. Your patience is not in vain. And all your trials and tribulations, your poverty and your sickness and your troubles and your trials and tribulations, None of it is in vain. And you're going to be happy today that you meet Allah. That you was patient on the trials and tribulations. Na'am ya ibad Allah. When Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, إِذَا مَاتَ الْإِنسَانُ إِنْ قَطَعَ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ If somebody dies, all of his deeds end except from three. This is the time that you have to earn good deeds and make your grave spacious. Who in this world is trying to prepare for the high after except you? Ayyuhal Muslim! You are Muslim! You are aware that you're going to be raised up your Qiyam. On the day of resurrection, the one who created you from nothing is going to hold you accountable for everything that you have been given. You have nothing except that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you owe that day you're going to be asked about every little thing that you have been given. This is your opportunity now, Ya Ibadullah. Hani al-Diman Maat wa huwa Muslim. Congratulations to the one who dies upon Islam. Hani al-Nat. Congratulations to you, Ya Abdullah. The da'a upon Islam. The da'a upon dignity. Wa integrity. And uprightness. And straightforwardness. And steadfastness. There's no nikmah greater than that, Ya Abdullah. Leave off ma'asi, leave off sinning, disobedience, and immorality, and indecency. This is the ni'mah of Islam. If there's no ni'mah greater than this, that you die upon honesty, and uprightness, and truthfulness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَوْمَ يَنْفَعُ الصَّادِقِينَ سِدْقُهُمْ The day that the truthful are benefited by their truthfulness. You have to be truth, you ahi. You have to be straight up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you and your day that you meet him is counted it's already determined it could be tomorrow and if it's not tomorrow it's going to be some day after tomorrow when Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says just about when may it three things follow the dead person ahluhu wa maluhu wa amalu his family and his wealth and his good deeds Two things come back. Well, one thing stayed with him. His money and his family, they come back and they leave him. And his good deeds, they remain with him. You and Hajar, you in need for good deeds. You're not in need of fine clothing and fine housing. You in need to stay away from the haram. You, Ya Abdullah. Say you don't look back in the arms, it's going to harm you. It's going to harm you, man, DJ Abdullah. Don't be asleep. It's taking all of me now, man. Wake up from your sleep. This is real. Nah. Hani an. Hani an li mamad al Islam. Congratulations to the one that died upon Islam. That he recognizes the one that created him from nothing. He's the one that deserves to be worshipped. Nah, he's the one that created everything in the heavens and the earth. Wala in sa'altahum, man khalaq as-samawati wal arda la yaquluna Allah. You ask them, ask them, who created the heavens and the earth? Who created the sun? Who created the moon? Who created Ibrahim, Moses, and Abraham, and all the prophets? Who created the earth, and the diamonds, and the gold, and the oceans? 
You know anything bigger than the ocean? Who created the trees and all this kind? Who created the fruits and the vegetables? Who created the animals? Who created mankind? They don't say Allah. I'm not your fuck one. How are you turned away? How are you turned away from disobedience? Who gave you the eyesight? Who gave you the ability to walk? Don't you know some people have eyes and they can't see? Don't you know some people have tongues they can't taste? Don't you know some people have legs they can't walk? Did you pay money so your eyes can see? Did you put some money up front so your stomach can work? Did you do something to pay that you owe, that somebody owes you life? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deserves our total devotion. Now, and our total obedience. You are the property of Allah. Allah owns you. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. We belong to Allah. And to him we return. We belong to Allah. Means he can do to me whatever he wants. He wants to take my kids. He's the one who gave it to me. He wants to take my legs. He's the one who gave it to me. He wants to take my house and my car. He's the one who gave it to me. He has every right to take from me what he wants. When Elena told us, we're going to go back to him. Meaning he's going to hold me accountable for these things. And I know that. And I'm right away. And I'm going to be patient. Throwing hardships for Ya Ibad Allah. Those who are afflicted with hardships. Afflicted with sicknesses. Trials and tribulations. Family problems. Be patient. You're going to be happy. Baby, you mean a lot. Well, you're going to wish that your sickness was greater. You're going to wish that your trials and tribulations were as simple or were more difficult. This is going to alleviate your sin. This is going to raise your rights with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to aid us in our faith. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us steadfast on this path. There is no doubt about Islam. And every day you have to think about that whole. That you're going to enter in it. Na'am ya ibad Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make space for us our grace. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enter us in his jannah which is real. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the punishment of the grave which is real. And we ask him to save us from the torment of the hellfire. Innahu wa liyudharif wa qadiru alayhi wa sallallahu ala nabiyya Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.